Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a Hobby Lobby haul, clearance, red sticker. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just jump into that because I have a lot of really cool things that went on sale. Mm. And I wanted to um, just let you guys know what is available in case you're looking to get any of these so you know what to look for and how much things are running. So I'm going to start off with the wax seals. These were not marked down yet when I went in the store that day. And luckily, I know one of the girls that works at the store, not like personally, but just from shopping there. She knows me and I really like to go to her because she's always like super nice to me. And very helpful she doesn't have an attitude and she's just very sweet so I always go to her and she was doing the markdowns that day so I asked her um as I saw her in the aisle and I asked her when she was gonna get to the wax seals and she says well that was like on another page but because she knew that I went there um, the second time that day to see if they got marked down yet she marked them down for me so she asked me which ones that I wanted and then she marked them down so I picked up these two really beautiful uh, metallic aqua um, wax seals they were originally $5.99 and I got them for $1.49 and then I picked up the lighter mint color and that also has a bit of a metallic shine in it so I grabbed two of those I love 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 wax seals and these can go inside your glue gun just like you see on the sticker here and I believe I do have a glue gun that will fit these so I'm very excited about that I also picked up the marble ones and these are the kind that you just light with um, a lighter and I also picked up one of the the grayish metallic ones so yeah I'm really excited that I was able to get those wax seals and I was also looking for um, Oh, I got this one as well, the little pellets, and then I got the yellow ones, which are really perfect for spring crafting, especially any bee-themed um, craft that you'll be doing. These are perfect because they're very, very similar to the color of beeswax, so yeah, I love those, and um let me see what else I can find that's in that same aisle. I picked up these um, folded cards and envelopes. You can never get enough of these if you make cards. They're perfect because they're already done for you and they come with the matching envelopes. And I love this color. And these were $1.24 and you get 24 pieces. And I also picked up some ink. I picked up this Stays On... Um, it's called Caribbean Green, but it's more like a teal. And this is very good ink, so I picked up one of those. And then I also picked up one of these um, Ombre Reactive Hero Arts ink pads. And this is just called Ombre, and I guess it just gives you the color on the cover. So it's like spring greens. Um, I also picked up these neon markers they are really cool and you can write on like black and they come out neon so those are $2.99 so I was like I definitely have to get those Whew, I'm out of breath um I picked up these pit artist pens by Faber Castell and they were $2.24 and you get four and they come in different brush tips and those are the tips that you get in the pack see what else is from that aisle I got quite a bit from that aisle because I do love stamping and I wanted to pick up this hot pink embossing neon pink I've really been into neon the past couple of years well I've always been into neon but with crafting I've just a couple years ago I started really getting into it in my crafting I picked up the green embossing powder I also picked up this really pretty teal tinsel embossing powder, and these were $4.99 marked down to $1.24, and I think these are by Ranger, all of these. Yeah, they're Ranger, 
And I also picked up this Aqua Tinsel embossing powder. And then I picked up one of these black embossing powders, which I thought was really cool. Uh, I'm so excited to be able to catch these deals. Uh, I think that's every, no, I picked up this giant embossing powder that's clear and it's a large particle embossing powder and you could even make um, little shapes and molds with this. So for jewelry making, that was an awesome find. It was $2.37 and this was $9.49 for this big thing. I picked up some stamps. I picked up this Tracy Hay stamp. It's really cute. It has a very adorable sayings in it. I thought that'd be great to do in journaling. And I also picked up this awesome, um, what is it? Hampton Art stamp. And I got it because I love that mushroom in it and all like the natural, um, the ferns. I think this is perfect to do like journaling with. And this was, um, I don't know originally how much it was, but it was only $1.87, so I was so excited to find that. These stamps, they're um, like animal stamps, and they were $1.99, originally $9 for this. And the little kitty on here is adorable, as well as the fish bone. You get all those stamps. I picked up this other envelope set. And so I got the darker teal and the lighter teal, kind of like the wax sealed um, wax that I picked up. So I was really happy to get those. They had a ton of other envelopes, but I didn't need any of the other ones. Okay, so now I'm going to show you why, what I got in the jewelry section. Um, pony beads for $0.62. Cents are like an orange iridescent. So I was thinking Halloween. Also, you could use these in summertime. These alphabet letters and these beautiful muted colors. Those are $1.74. I picked up these really cool wooden keys. And I think I got two of those. Just, yeah, I bought two of those. I also grabbed these number beads for 57 cents. I grabbed some of these spaghetti beads in white and black. They were only 24 cents, so I grabbed two of those. And then the black ones. I know I have more beads. Oh yeah, I picked up these green beads for St. Patrick's Day. They were only 49 cents. And then I picked up these little bells for 74 cents from the metal gallery. They also had um, the polymer clay envelope pieces on clearance. So I grabbed those. And then I got two packs of these sequin um, smiley face packs for 49 cents each. Thought those would be great for shaker mixes. And then I also picked up these charms that have like a little books on them. One of the cameos fell off, so I just figured um, I would just glue my own little cabochon on there. So those are $1.24 from the Timeline Company. And then I picked up this yellow chain for $0.99, cents, this metal yellow chain. I thought this would be good to do some kind of jewelry project with. Um, I also picked up this artistic wire in um, 22 gauge for $1.74. Usually this is very expensive and you get quite a bit on here. It's very, very strong in a gold color. Um, let's see. I also picked up this craft cord for $1.49 in mint. And then I picked up this pink one as well, so I could do some, maybe some rainbows with these or other projects that I might need that for. I grabbed this silky cord pastel for 74 cents in these beautiful colors. And I got it in this color scheme as well. And then I bought this super thick elastic cord for 99 cents. Okay, winding down here. Let's see what else do I have to show you. Oh, okay. I picked up this typewriter and press art stamping set. They're lowercase letters. 
This was $21.99 and I got it for $5.49. Such a steal. I picked up this 62 cents um, thing of plastic uh, lacing cord to do crafts with my kids and other things. And that was in the kids crafting section. And I also picked it up in the clear with glitter for 62 cents as well. You get a lot of stuff on here. Um, I think it's 100 yards. Yeah, 100 yards. So I picked up that. I thought I could do lots of fun crafts with my kids with that. I picked up these um, Playside Creations pin, uh, keychain button kits so you make your own buttons. And this is a classroom pack and you get 16 of them. Um, I picked up these sacks and things uh, pillow boxes for 49 cents. I found this double-sided extra strength Nero tape, red tape for 32 cents. I got this giant bottle of acrylic paint for $1.07 and it was normally $6. I grabbed the Saxon Things pack, passed a little glassine bags for $0.74. Cents. That was normally $2.99. And I got this um, pack of metallic holographic bags for $1.24. I got some of these... Um, Plastic hearts from Valentine's Clearance. And then I picked up these also, these little heart stems from Clearance from Valentine's Day. As well as this rainbow, rainbow, heart holographic ribbon that was 80% off or whatever, 75% off, I'm not sure. Um, and then I picked up these Easter pretty tulip stickers for 40 off. And in the sacks and things aisle i picked up these pretty pastel bags for a dollar 74 and you get um 10 of them and then i also picked up these beautiful um, bags with lemons peaches and watermelons and you get 12 of these for 249 such a deal look how big these are they're so beautiful the colors and then I picked up this Easter paper for $1.74. It was originally $7. And then they had their Silly Foam, Silly Winks Foam on clearance for $0.37 cents from $1.49. So I just picked up the blue and green because that was all that I could find on sale. And it's pretty thick. And then I picked up this beautiful paper pad. And... There was a lot of really nice paper, guys, but I only got this paper pad, and I'm not going to open it because, one, I don't have time, and secondly, you can see all the different paper on the front, and I really got it because it has these cute cherries on one in pink in the background and the strawberry one, as well as the citrus one, and um, I just really like the colors. They're fun and bright and cheerful for summer. So this was $21.99 and it was on clearance for $5.49. So that is everything that I picked up from my Hobby Lobby. <laughs> yeah, I kind of went crazy, but look at the prices. You can't go wrong. I mean, in the long run, you're going to be saving so much. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in the next crafty video. Bye! Happy crafting!